from the subreddit anti-work. I'm being asked to dig my own grave. I work on a team of 25 people. My management is making me write up a list of 10 people that will be laid off including myself. First time they asked me to do this I refused. They they told me I had until Monday to come up with this list of people we have to lay off. I have zero incentive to do a good job on this. What are they going to, fire me? This is the work version of Go Get Me a Switch. It's psychological fuckwittery. Do not play. They will cry and be manipulative. At least make them fire you, and make them pay you until they do. Tell everyone on the team immediately. Don't set yourself on fire to keep others warm. Fuck management, they can do their own dirty work. Absolutely do not put your name on a list. They will likely try to take this as you submitting your resignation to deprive you of unemployment or other benefits. I am not a lawyer, nor an HR rep, but I would say something like. It is your decision as to whether or not you'd like to keep me under your employ. Until such a time that I'm notified of being fired, I will be returning to my station and continuing work as per normal. Have a great day, smiley face. Start with their names. Repeat them, if necessary. At the bottom, tell them to grow a pair, and if they want to 86 anyone, to do it their damned selves. Listing all managers is the way. Point out all their deficiencies. If the list is supposed to include you, start with yourself and work your way up the chain of command. Talk with your co-worker and let them know half of them will be sacked. Most of them will leave the ship anyway and the boss will be screwed. I talk to the 25. Tell them exactly what's going down. You might find 10 who want out. Is the severance decent? Are your people skilled and likely to find another job tomorrow? Those affect how I'd approach it. Hey so we are firing people including you. We pay you to build massive value for the owners of the company but please write this list because you work for us and therefore automatically have the best interests of the company at heart unless terminated. Just like a computer. Their loss. They don't understand capitalism but they'll preach to you about that and a free market. LMAO. I would make a list with. Boss name, boss last name. Boss last name, boss name. Boss nickname boss name and last name. And so on. Waste your time in job hunting my dude. Clearly, this was a snake nest. CEO. COO. CTO. All VPs. Leave their admins as they are the ones doing the work at that level. The list must certainly include people too lazy to do their own firings. From there, you got the place of talent and recommend only the people they should be keeping. Don't put your name on it. Put the CEO and the next nine senior people on it. Layoffs are always 100% the fault of management. Call a meeting of the entire staff, leave the whole department non-functional for an hour. Be upfront with what's going on. Management is gonna do what they are gonna do. Ask for volunteers, the ones who have the best prospect. The rest will start polishing up their resumes and also quit. Don't let this be a surprise to anyone. Fuck the management. Choose the best people so they will be left with the most unproductive of your colleagues. Pencil in every manager, executive you can think of. Include the top 10 people on your team. They'll find work elsewhere. Leave the worthless employees to sink that ship. I once worked for a really screwed up company. A similar assignment was given to two or three people. It turned out to be a test for a promotion to management. They were the only candidates. Weird part was, nobody got fired. The owner just wanted to know how we thought. Every time that owner read a book, the philosophy of the business would change, along with targets and even target markets. The IRS took up residence in our largest office for six months, during an audit. This was part of the plot of an episode of the sitcom Week at the Top. 
the staff member responded by sending a list of the manager's expense account items to finance with suggested savings. I think this is an amateurish game test to see if you have what it takes to fire someone. I have seen it before. It's to see if you have what they consider management abilities. Unfortunately, that is mostly the skill they think is needed. No leadership quality need apply. Keep in mind, they may rat you out for fun. Again, amateurish management. Edit, most likely, other team members have been given the same task. That is how the game is typically played. How well do you get along with the 25 people? Shut the entire work group of 25 down if they'll all agree. Meaning everyone get together and shut the department down as one. Have they asked you in writing, i.e. text or email? If not, send an email, hi I just want to clarify the conversation we had earlier. As I recall, you wanted me to write a list of 10 names of people to be laid off. Is this correct? If they don't confirm, do nothing. If they do confirm, tell them that these are management level decisions that you don't feel comfortable making. Include the next level up of management in the email. Either way, start looking for another job. Fun response, choose the senior, best, experienced people for the layoffs. If they are going to make you do this, make sure it does maximum damage to the company. Real response, fuck you, these aren't my direct reports, so I'm not going to do shit. This is their manager's responsibility, not mine. This is really messed up. Intentionally forcing people to sacrifice their teammates is pure psychological torture and IIRC the Viet Congs did this to their American prisoners. List managers but leave yourself off the list. If you list yourself they have written proof in a sense that you quit when you didn't really want to. Then they won't have to pay unemployment if you file for it. Don't let them be sneaky bastards. How about call in sick indefinitely? Like every day just say I do not know when I will get better but can't work right now. Get all your sick benefits plus get fired without firing other people, get laid off pay etc. Send a company-wide email with proof for the upcoming layoff, also list your salary. List your managers. Especially whoever tasked you with your own employment suicide. Make a list of the best employees they have and just leave them with the slackers. I'd call a meeting with all 25 team members to discuss, would probably lead to a walkout. Fire all of your most talented and productive employees. List upper management, just management. Every manager you've ever had the displeasure of working with. Staff don't make personnel decisions. Managers make personnel decisions. I do my job, you do yours, or else fire yourself. Pick all the best people that will easily find other jobs. Leave the company with people that will cause the company to end up in bankruptcy court. Do you work for Twitter? Elon Musk just brought it. Pick the 10 most essential people. If you have to go down, take the business with you. Besides, the 10 most essential people will have the easiest time finding new jobs. Yeah I wouldn't do any of it. That's not your job. Include the CEO, KU, VP, and the person who gave you the list. Plot twist, they asked all 25 on the team to do this. They are only firing the top 10 vote getters. Refuse to make the list and forward to the entire team including their boss and so end up the chain. This is a ridiculous ask. If this wasn't done by email make it a memo per our Friday conversation. You start by listing everyone above you. Especially the person who set you the task. Wrote down the names of the executives firing you. I'd put the names of management on it, tell everyone they are about to lay off almost half the staff, and look for a new job. No point in cooperating, as they are already going to fire you. Just list 10 managers. List 10 executives. Group meeting, tell them what's happening, ask for volunteers, you might be surprised, so ask and then suggest everyone else start looking too. 
name all of the people above you, up to and including the CRO, 